You're not getting engagement. At least not enough. So what do you do? Listen, honestly, this problem isn't something rare. We get a lot of comments from business owners asking how they can improve social media engagement, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. But here's the thing. The way most people look at engagement is all wrong. You have to create engagement. It's not something that's going to be given to you. So if you're having problems engaging with customers, in this video, you're gonna learn the simple but effective ways of how to create engagement with them. Hi everyone, I'm Natasha Ivanovich. I'm the head of social media at Taylor Brands and a fellow small business owner myself for content writing. And today I'm your host for Taylor Brands Business Lab. Our YouTube channel is dedicated to helping small businesses get up and running. But before we start, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below so we can help turn your idea into a business. Let's do it. Tip number one, be intentional with your content. Nowadays, being a business owner also means being a content creator. I didn't make up the rules, but here we are. And there's no doubt it takes a lot of work to create content, but a content common mistake business owners make is creating a lot of content and just throwing it up online. We need to remember as business owners, it's about quality, not quantity. You're better off creating two high quality posts a week rather than posting every single day, seven days a week. You want to be intentional with your content. With each post you create, think to yourself, does this post create a conversation? Because at the end of the day, your content needs to create a conversation and get people talking. Tip number two, create a two way street. You may be the one posting the content, but your viewers are the ones receiving it. So your viewers need to gain something from your posts. You can be consistent with your posts, but if there's no substance behind them, they're gonna fall flat with your viewers. Like I said, your content is a two-way street. So take a step back and look at your content and think about the message that it sends people. Think about how you wanna connect with your viewers. For example, instead of saying in the caption, enjoying the sunshine today, you can say, I'm dying to go outside and get some sunshine. What are some fun things I can do in LA today? This is a question and this will stir up conversation. So let's say you're doing things like these and you're not getting the engagement you want. Ask yourself, why aren't my posts getting engagement? Is it the caption, the content of the post? Is it hitting the wrong audience? Tip number three, respond to everything. People are going to comment on your posts. Don't ignore them or just like them. Respond to them. Ask a question, share something insightful, engage with your audience. Remember, engagement doesn't come on its own. It comes through action. Also comment on other people's posts. Create awareness of your business by engaging with other people's content. People always read the comments on posts, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, on TikTok. You can actually create more engagement for your business by doing so. This doesn't mean you have to reply with some dramatic response, but you can pose a question, share a situation, get people talking. Tip number four, consistency doesn't matter unless you know what your audience wants. You can post three times a week and do that consistently for months and months, but if you don't know what your audience wants, then you won't connect with them. For example, if you're a dog walker, your audience wants to know that their dog is going to be happy and safe in your hands. So you'll want to push the message that your business focuses on those things. See, we like to think that social media is more complicated than it is, when really it's about aligning your message to your audience online. Once you do, you'll be able to connect your business to the right people. Think of every political party or sporting event out there. They connect a group of people who are interested in the same thing, and that's why they're so successful. That's what you need to do for your business on social media. So ask yourself, what does your business care about and who should care about your business? As you can tell guys, this is isn't a long video because at the end of the day, you don't need to do a lot to engage with your audience. You just need to be the ones engaging with them. Once you find out what your audience likes and how to engage with them, you'll be well on your way to actually growing your business online. All you need to do is be intentional with your content, understand your audience and the message you want to send to them and respond, actually engage with them. They want to be heard. They want to have a conversation. So create that space for them so they can actually engage with your business. And if you can do this, you'll be well on your way to growing your business on social media. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions about starting your business, let us know in the comments section below.